And people in Raleigh coming together tonight to pay their respect for the victims. CBS North Carolina's Michael Highland live at Pullen Memorial. Michael. Yeah, even as people held these candles and read from prayers, the pastor here says people were asking her, why even do this? She said it has to be about more than just offering thoughts and prayers. There was singing, lighting of candles, reading of names. Michelle Vo. But also a recognition of this sad, frequent ritual after tragedy. I'm tired of this. People of many faiths gathered Wednesday at Pullen Memorial Baptist Church in Raleigh. One pastor heard this from a friend. I have compassion fatigue. Anyone? The shooting in Las Vegas left hundreds of families changed forever. My son and his girlfriend had just come from a music concert on Saturday night. And the thought that um, could have been mine. But Reverend Nancy Petty says it's not enough to come here and pray. In this time particularly, there's a growing frustration of, of I heard from many of my colleagues and people in the community, why another vigil? She urged people to act knowing that means different things to people when it comes to addressing gun violence. We need to be out marching. We need to be at the legislature. And yes, we've got to do all of that. While hoping another act of violence doesn't bring everyone back here again. There are additional vigils like this scheduled throughout the week, including Saturday night in Durham. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS North Carolina. Michael.